Hey, AMP the bass player here. We are at the beginning of the gauntlet. I have not one, not two, but three weddings this weekend. Today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And uh, it's, it's certainly gonna be something. I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions about stuff, so I will be answering those questions throughout the day. So come along with me as I uh, play three weddings in one weekend. In fact, why don't we just take a look at the first question right now. Um, this question just says, weddings. Yes. Okay, real question here. Are you bringing an amp to all the gigs or just going direct? Uh, today we are on in-ear monitors, which means that I'm going to be just bringing my bass and my pedal board and going direct off of that. Yep, for today, just this bad boy. All right, I'm here waiting for the rest of the guys to show up so that we can carpool up to Park City for this gig. So let's take another question here. Uh, this was a question that got asked a couple of times in, in different words, but uh, Sam Duffy asks, how much time do you need to learn new songs before gigs? And what are your methods for learning songs quickly if you don't have much time? This is a great question, probably deserves its own video, but the, probably the two biggest things that I could say if you're trying to you know, just cram songs is number one, make charts. Charts make a world of difference, whether that just be a couple of notes for you to remember how a song goes, maybe just like the, write the key and some of the chord changes, or maybe you've got like an iPad with a bunch of charts on it, like that are actual legitimate charts. Either way, having something like that so that you're not having to commit everything to memory helps a ton. I also re recommend like listening to the music a lot if it's not stuff that you're super familiar with. Second thing is to simplify. You don't need to play most songs note for note on bass. There are some things like living on a prayer that have like this really iconic and forward bass line and yeah those ones you'll probably want to learn note for note but for a song like have i told you lately that i love you which we are playing for one of these gigs i don't remember which one um i'm just gonna play the chord changes put a little bit of improv sauce on it and call it a day no one will know the difference we're in the band playing at blue sky ranch Break that beat, break it. Yeah. We have a problem here on the side of the dance, so let's, let's have some good time, guys. We're Jake and the we're so happy to be here, but congratulations, Jake, congratulations. Over. I think we did pretty good. Oh yeah, we slayed it. Yep. The, the power had to still work. Yes. Yeah, we cut power in the middle of the song, kept playing, no power, power came back on, we were still playing, and yeah, went off without a hitch. Yeah, yep. made it work. Mm -hmm. what, what's your what's your least favorite song to play in the set? My least favorite song to play in the set. Shit, Purple Rain. Mine too, actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really? That's awesome. It's so boring on bass. Yeah, it's it's just like bit, yeah. whole notes even. Yeah. Just bah. Now imagine that, except for every whole note is also a bar chord. 
Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's a little. Yep. Uh, yep. Little yep. You, you, you win. You win. You win. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Welcome to day two of the gauntlet. Last night went uh, pretty good, all things considered. Just a little, little minor hiccup with the power thing. <laughs> Never had that happen before, but they got it fixed really quick. And luckily, we've got those same sound engineers for the whole weekend. So, awesome. Let's actually take another question. This is actually for my friend Chance. He says, what is the worst and best requested songs you've ever had for weddings? Well, if I limit myself to just the ones this weekend, the worst ones are probably the ones that we're never going to play again. So we opened up yesterday with a song by Wilco called Jesus, Etc. And it's a cool song. It's so obscure, though, we are not likely to ever play it again. So you, like, put in all this effort to learn a song, you play it once, and then it's done forever. That kind of feels bad. The best song, though, is ones that we already know. I think we got a request for September tomorrow, which, like, we, we've got that one in our back pocket all day long, so no extra effort for us. One quick update to the loadout. Uh, as it turns out, we are going to be on ears for the entire weekend. So just bass pedal board for the other two gigs, which is awesome for me because it makes loading so easy. Don't have to take that big heavy amp. Anyway, I got to go change clothes and get ready and get out of here. So let's get on the road. I'm gonna get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know about the set list. Oh, uh, set list? So how I make the set list? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> put, put songs in an order and it's then sometimes shuffle. follow it. Shuffle play and then you <laughs> stick it in a set list. Like, here, guys. <laughs> you make the list and then you set the order. Oh. Yeah. We're definitely doing careless tonight. Putting the whole set careless. I think we can make, make good choices in that, that first set. Like, oh, yeah, everything. keeping it chill. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, Jake wanted to do Kiss. But I was like, I don't think they're like starting to taper off, so like that's not wasted the beats. Yeah, and then when we brought it back, that got everybody on the floor. Everybody loves Prince, man. That, that's the thing you should take away from this. If you're you making love a, Prince. If you're doing a wedding set list, put some Prince on there. Ceremony happening out there. Dance party happening. Oh. Right here. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that sweet, sweet sound. All right, so we're sound checked, just chilling. Uh, let's take another question. Let's see. Uh, Steam Engineer on TikTok asks, Uptown Funk or Uptown Junk? And we're not playing it on this gig, but I played it with other bands. And frankly, it's, it's a song that I would consider a silver bullet. It almost always goes over well. It's not too hard of a song to play. You kind of do need a five string to, to play it correctly on, on bass. But yeah, Uptown Funk is good. In fact, just about everything Bruno Mars is, is good. <laughs> Thank you. 
a lot of unwitting uh, young women at that party had to embrace a pickup line of Switch 360, what you got? <laughs> hey, well, it didn't really go well, but I guess that's why we're here. So... <laughs> And we did it. We got through it. All three weddings down. They all went really, really well. Cool. Uh, before I wrap this up, I did have a couple people ask, uh, what resources are you using to get booked for gigs? And typically when you're doing wedding stuff, um, a lot of times you're going through either a wedding planner or even like a booking agency. Uh, for Jake and the Heist though, we actually picked all of these up just um, organically. You've seen me do shows at a place called Lake Effect, I've, I've shown those gigs and vlogs before, or uh, we did a big gig last year where it was like five, six thousand people, and that's where all of these gigs came from, is people just saw us play those places and were like, I want them for my wedding. So in a way, our performances, the, the way we play there, the way we you know presented ourselves, those are what allowed us to get these gigs. Like Our shows are our advertisement, basically which feels really good. And in fact, we've got two more weddings later this month that were the, kind of the same thing. People just saw us play and they really liked us and they wanted to hire us. Anyway, do be sure that you're subscribed. I've got way more stuff going on. In fact, the next big thing that I'm doing is this, Deep Love, a ghostly rock opera. I've done this for about the past 10 years. It's one of the cooler projects that I've ever been in. I'll put a little video right here if you want to check out last year's, but uh, that's coming up next month, so uh, don't miss it. So be sure you're subscribed.